now we can move on and install the Firebase to our uh, project. So in order for us, our uh, project to be able to communicate with the database, we are going to need the libraries that we are going to get from our CocoaPods using the CocoaPods in order to install them. So now, since we are here in the documents under iOS, if you scroll down a bit, here you can see all the things you can install from Firebase. So you can see this called pods and these are the name of the pods we are going to use in order to install the certain things for, uh, these are like the libraries SDKs for our project. So what we need from here is Firebase authentication. This will allow us to uh, create users, so to authenticate user. Firebase Firestore, which is our database here, which is called Firestore. So this is another thing we are going to need. Then um, you have the Firebase messaging. This is going to be used for, uh, you can see it's cloud messaging. This is for the push notifications. Then we have Firebase storage, which is the database, uh, this big storage for big files that we are going to use. So we need this one as well. Then you have like in-app messaging, uh, dynamic links, catalytics, and uh, also machine learning things from Firebase. Um, we're not going to get into this. So these are the main things what we are going to use. Now uh, regarding the Cocoa Pods, if you don't have the Cocoa Pods and uh, you want to install them, you go to cocoapods.org and here it tells you how to install them. It says installation, you just open your terminal and write sudo gem install cocopods. You just can copy and paste it. In order to open terminal, you just command space, say terminal. It will open a terminal for you. Command plus, I will make it to make it larger. Um, once you have this, here you can uh, say like, uh, you can copy and paste it, hit enter. And if you hit enter, it's going to ask you for password. This is the password of your uh, Mac or uh, MacBook Pro or whatever you are using. And once you are typing, it's not going to give you the, any characters. Just make sure you type it correct, hit enter, and it's going to install the CocoaPods for you. In my case, I have the CocoaPods already installed. And in order to verify if you have CocoaPods installed or no, I'm going to terminate this and create another one. You can say gem, which is Ruby gems, and you say which Cocoa Pods, hit enter, and it gives you the version of uh, Ruby installed on your machine. In my case, is 2.6.3, currently it's the latest version, if I'm not mistaken. And the Cocoa Pods is 1.9.3, again, currently is the latest version. But even if you have older version, by saying sudo gem install Cocoa Pods, it will automatically update the Cocoa Pods to the latest version. In, in case if you don't have the Ruby installed on your machine, which uh, by default all the Macs come with pre-installed, but in case if you don't have, you will need something called Homebrew. You can install the Homebrew to your Mac and then using that you can also install Ruby. But as most of the, all the Macs actually come pre-installed with Ruby, I'm going to assume that you already have the Ruby installed and you can uh, run the file gem install uh, Cocoa Pods and it will install them for you. So once you have the Cocoa Pods installed, we can uh, go to our Xcode project. I'm going to close this project and then I'm going to open my terminal again. And I'm going to navigate to the place where my project is. So to navigate, you say CD, which means change directory. And here you can uh, write the path to the file or the easy version is just drag and drop to the terminal, hit enter. 
and it will take the path of the file automatically. So if I say ls now, which is listing all the files I have in my folder, you can see I have two files here. One of them is a folder, let's meet. The other one is .xcode project file. So here I'm going to create a, a what's called pod file. So if I say pod init in my terminal, hit enter, it will create another file here. It's called pod file. And this file doesn't have any extensions, but you can create, open it and edit it with your text edit. So I just open it here. Let's make the text bigger. By default, it has platform iOS 9, but don't worry about this. Once we install, uh, it's going to be automatically reassigned the number. So here, we are going to use the pods that we want to install for our project. You can see if you put a hashtag in front of it, these are just comments, which is uh, not viewed by the CocoaPods as a pod file. So for us to make our uh, Firebase, you can go here and you can choose all the pods you want from here that you are going to use. And you are going to copy this. What is a very, very important thing, if you are not copy and pasting it, these straight uh, quotation marks, sometimes when you uh, put a quotation mark, by default it may be a quotation mark that are a bit under angle, and not straight down. So make sure you are using the ones that are straight down and not under the angle. Otherwise, it's not going to work. In my case, I just uh, I'm going to copy and paste uh, my Firebase pods and let's go through it. So we say pod and then the name of the pod that we want to install, which is the library in our case. I'm going to provide this uh, file to you so you can copy and paste them as well. Because if you have a typo, it's going to give an error and it's not going to install. So we have the Firebase core, which contains all the Firebase main uh, files. Then we have the Firebase authentication, which we're going to use for user authentication. The Firebase.firestore, again, this is our database. The storage for the, uh, for the files. Uh, we have this analytics. If you want to keep track of your uh, users, uh, what they are doing in the application, and the messaging, these are for push notifications. I'm going to also, while we are here, copy and paste the other uh, libraries that we are going to use in our project. And we're going to talk about each of these separately once we use them. We have the gallery uh, and as activity indicator, uh, progress, HUD, country, picker. This is actually not required uh, sk photo browser shuffle ios message kit and input bar so this part we are going to go in depth once we start using each of them so once you copy and paste all these files command s to save and then you can close your pod file if you had closed your terminal before you just have to reopen and navigate to the pod file location so if i say ls now it will show me three files, including the pod file that we have created. So if I say pod install, hit enter, this is going to analyze dependencies and it's going to install all the libraries that we put in our pod file. So this is going to take some time depending on the internet speed. So let's, uh, I'm going to pause the video here. And once we have installed all the CocoaPods, we are going to continue from there. Okay, uh, my CocoaPods are all installed. It actually took 18 minutes to install all of them. You can see all the names in green that were installed. And next to them, you can see the versions of the specific libraries were installed. And you can see the list here is much longer than initially we had in our pod file. And the reason is when uh, you are installing, for example, a specific library, this library may have different dependencies attached to it. So it requires other libraries to work. So the CocoaPods uh, by default 
goes and grabs all the libraries that are necessary for the specific library to uh, to work and uh, when you finish uh, it says that it's automatically assigned uh, different platform you can see version 14 for our project you remember in our pod file we had iOS 9 by default when we created that so it says it has installed 13 uh, dependencies and also it says that from now on we are going to open our project from a different file so I'm going to close my terminal and if we look back to our folder now you can see we have two files extra uh, it's the pod file log and also the pods folder this is the po folder that uh, we actually just downloaded all these libraries and put it there also you can see that apart from our initial xcode project uh, file we have another one which has the white icon it has the application name and instead of xcode project it has xcode workspace extension from now on we are going to use this one and not the xcode project because if you go to the xcode project you don't have access to your pods and if you go to the workspace you will have access to your pods so let's open this up and now you can see we have the main application underneath we have another one uh, it's called pods you can open it up here you can see your pod file and all the pod names that we have installed and you can see the folders framework pods here you have all the pods that you have installed and products etc these are all these libraries and dependencies that uh, was automatically downloaded and installed for us the rest of the application if you just open these folders are exactly the same as we had initially so there is no changes at all there but now we have access to our uh, libraries in uh, including a uh, firebase when you open the application first time after installing uh, coco pods you will see that uh, on top it's going to have this spinning and says indexing so right now xcode is going through all these new files and libraries we have added to our project and it's going to index it so it's going to take some time uh, your auto completion may not work straight away because it takes some time for the xcode to index these files and make them available so if i say import and say firebase you can see the auto completion already works even though it hasn't indexed everything yet so here we have all these different options of firebase like core authentication storage but we need just the main firebase in order for our application to work so here what we are doing is actually initializing our firebase so in our uh, application did finish launching with options we just say uh, fir application firebase app dot and then we need to call configure remember these two lines we had in order to set up our application so once you do this you have imported firebase and installed pods and you have the google services info.plist file when you run your application it will automatically link to the firebase database and you will have a connection with it so now you can say command b this is going to build your project and can see how many tasks it has to go through to build and current number of the task also there is a way uh, command shift k which cleans the project it's good to do if you uh, already have let's say some libraries and you decide that you want to install other libraries that you want to work with after the installation it's good to have a command shift k to rebuild re-index all the files for you so this is sometimes you may install the library and come here when you let's say you want to use it you say like import firebase 
and the Xcode will give you an error like there is no such library even though you can go here in the pods file you can go under the pods and you can find the folder here this is just an Xcode bug and usually it goes away with clean build which is command shift K or simply closing and reopening the Xcode or sometimes uh, just command P to build the project will also work so um, just command P now wait for the project to build and uh, we are going to make sure that there are no errors in our project there may be some warnings if you click here you can see these yellow warnings which is nothing to worry about especially when you are using the beta version of Xcode and iOS 14 is brand new now and there are also bugs inside the Xcode and not all the libraries support iOS 14 as of now but since uh, we are using Swift 5 if you go to the project name here build settings scroll down you can see here Swift uh, language version it says Swift 5 you can choose currently we have it on Swift 5 which is the default that Xcode 12 uh, creates for us so some libraries may not support Swift 5 and they will be written let's say Swift 4 or even Swift 3 and if you try to use them here you are going to get an errors and these libraries are not compatible so you need to either fix them manually or find an alternative that works with Swift 5 so let's uh, I'm going to give it some time for all these uh, files to be built and indexed the first time it usually takes longer and uh, later on it's going to take much faster in order to build our application so um, this is it uh, about installing uh, Cocoa Pods and the libraries with uh, Cocoa Pods and from our next lecture on we are going to actually focus on building the application so far we were just doing the setup and uh, getting ready to create our application and work with the libraries